Am I buying this for me or am I buying this to impress somebody else? Okay. Got my coffee, we are ready to shoot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new here, going into 2021, I am committed to a couple of financial goals, including paying off half of my student loan debt and saving enough money for a down payment on a home. In order to save enough money to actually achieve and take off those goals, I am not buying many, many, many things in 2021 and I wanted to share that list with you guys today. I was somebody who used to use retail therapy as a means to heal depression, comparisonitis, and of course this never worked for me. It just made me feel like an outsider to myself. I was trying to be like other people, buying things that were trendy or expensive, that I put my worth in my things. I never truly took a step back to build a genuine connection with myself to figure out who I wanted to be for me instead of who I thought that society wanted me to be. And I was trying to fit into a mold that wasn't who I was. I need to like put this coffee down because I'm gonna spill it. But being intentional with how you spend your money is the most rewarding experience because you finally feel like you're in control of your spending habits. And you have more and more opportunities then to invest in long-term happiness, like traveling or spending time with your friends more often, going out to eat, exploring your city, versus short-term happiness, like buying trendy clothes that are going to maybe fall apart in six months or that you're going to end up donating because the trend has changed. If you're doing a low buy year, let me know in the comments below. I am curious and I wanna see if we're doing this together. I am actually next week posting another video that is all about simple habits for going through a low buy year and how to make it successful. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in videos like minimalism videos, intentional living, low buy. Now with that being said, let's get into the list of 21 things that I won't be buying in 2021 to save money as a minimalist. The first thing that I'm not buying in 2021 are things to solely fill an empty space. I actually really appreciate the look of a blank wall here and there or empty surfaces in my home just because it looks a lot more tidy but not to say that I don't like decor at all in my home or in my space. I think that's a great way to make your space feel more like cozy, to feel more like you. But I plan on only purchasing a limited number of decor items or thrifted decor items just to enhance the space but not solely just to fill because it's an empty wall or it's an empty surface. I will not be buying any newly manufactured decor items. And by this, I mean I will only be buying secondhand to upcycle or just to appreciate the item itself, the way that it looks. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One, because I honestly think it would be a lot of fun to upcycle furniture or home decor. And the second part is because I don't believe that decor needs to be super expensive to enhance your space. $50, $100 manufactured trendy decor items. Instead, I'm going to try to buy them secondhand and give an item a second life. And yes, this includes holiday decor. I personally don't have the need or want to wear a watch. I do have an Apple watch that I wear for working out just to track the distance that I'm running, my heart rate. Otherwise, I don't feel the need for a watch. The fourth thing that I won't be buying in 2021 are bracelets, but I am not against buying jewelry to enhance your wardrobe. I don't see anything wrong with wanting to zhuzh up your outfit with a little bit of accessories or jewelry. I prefer rings, earrings, and necklaces, but I just personally don't buy bracelets. 
purses. I have three purses and they each have a purpose. One is for traveling. The second one is for every day, like going grocery shopping or just going out. The third one is for going out to a really nice meal or going on a walk or a bike ride if I don't want to be lugging around too much and I just need my ID and my phone. I will be using every single one of my purses until they fall apart on me. Blankets. I used to always want to buy a new blanket because I am a person that runs cold all the time. But this would mostly come up whenever I would go to stores like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Target. I would always want to leave with at least one blanket. They're all so cozy and fuzzy and soft, and it's just one of those things. The seventh thing that I won't be buying in 2021 is fast fashion. I first wanna say I'm not here to shame anybody. I understand that everybody has different circumstances and the low price point of fast fashion may be all that you can afford. And maybe you don't like buying thrift clothes all the time because you want something new, you want something fresh. Maybe you'll learn something new from what I'm going to go into, my reason why. Just taking the steps to be more intentional and maybe doing a low buy year and not buying just out of like trying to find something to fit in your wardrobe because you can. In my book, that's okay. You're doing your best. I watched the documentary, The True Cost. It was so well made. I highly encourage you to watch that documentary if you haven't seen it already. Many fast fashion retailers take advantage of their workers overworking their employees and are in hazardous working conditions and they pay them cents to the dollar. So in 2021 instead, I plan on only shopping from local thrift stores like mom and pop thrift stores and not shopping at like Goodwill for clothes because I don't wanna to contribute to the gentrification of Goodwill where they're raising their prices because people are shopping at Goodwill as a trend that can afford other options and it's making it impossible for people that can't afford clothes. We're taking it away from them, if you think about it, who it's meant for. I will also purchase, if I need to, from online secondhand thrift stores or like Poshmark or Depop or like Thread Up. Thread Up is an amazing store. I actually have a video on it, my review of them. Or if I want something that's not secondhand but brand new, I'm gonna do my best to shop only at ethical companies that are transparent with their practices. This can be a little bit difficult because not a lot of companies are and they're a little bit sneaky so you have to do a little bit of research for this one. Or I'm gonna shop from like other online creators that do have boutiques. And then on top of not shopping fast fashion, I do plan on being very intentional with when, why, and what I'm buying. The only time I will be buying a new piece of clothing is when I need to actually replace something that's falling apart. Or if I don't have an item, but I really want it because I just love the way it looks and it would work really well with my wardrobe, I'm not going to deprive myself. It's not about deprivation, it's about being intentional. The eighth thing that I will not be buying in 2021 are manicures and pedicures. Manicures and pedicures can be a really great way to treat yourself. I used to go for like a girl's day with my mom all the time, but it gets really expensive. And I think that it's beautiful because what was really great about that experience was spending time with my mom, spending time with a friend. So honestly, if you're trying to save money in 2021 as well, you're trying to cut things out, then what you can do instead is suggest that you go back to your place or their place, grab a bottle of wine, get some snacks, put on a movie, or just talk to each other and do your own nails yourself because what's important is spending that time with that person. The ninth thing that I won't be buying in 2021 is nail polish, and this goes really well with the last one that I talked about, but I personally already have a very nice collection of nail polish. I don't feel the need to purchase any more, so what I'm trying to do with having a low buy year and saving money this year is to use up what I already have. Number 10, dog treats. It's not that I don't want to spoil my puppy with a whole bunch of dog treats. It's that she literally goes bananas for bananas. Things like peanut butter. I don't plan on buying any treats. I plan on only making homemade treats or using what we have that is pet safe, of course. I will not be buying plush 
pet toys in 2021. Now again, this isn't because I don't want to spoil her because I don't love her enough to buy her plush pet toys. The thing is, she loves attention. That's all she wants is your attention. She loves people. So she doesn't necessarily need plush toys to be happy. Plus with them, she either rips through them in a week or she couldn't care less about them. Personally, we used to spend so much money at TJ Maxx and HomeGoods buying her all these toys that she would either hate or she would love too much. We've decided that we are investing in high quality toys that won't fall apart as quickly that she still loves. So like she loves to play tug of war. So we have a really nice tug toy that's starting to give a little bit. So we might need to replace it soon. But the most important thing in my eyes is to give her love, TLC, attention, and give her the exercise that she needs, take her on runs with us. The love isn't in the toys or the thing. Number 12, anything from Instagram ads. I am making it a point this year to not spend any money on Instagram ads, to set that boundary. I usually stop myself from actually following through with the sale, but I've spent money through Instagram ads. I want to make sure I'm still doing my research and being intentional instead of impulse buying. They make it so easy to spend money through the platform. I'm just making it so that I am actively not going to buy anything from Instagram. The 13th thing that I don't plan on buying in 2021 are apps or in-app purchases. The only app that I've ever paid for is Happy Cow, and this is because I am vegan. It was only $4, and it helps us when we're traveling to locate options for us to eat. It made sense for us to purchase that app because it solves a problem for us. But for 2021, I will not buy any more apps or in-app purchases to save money. Coffee thermoses, I love coffee thermoses as much as I love blankets. So I used to have way more than what was necessary and in 2021 I am being intentional about not purchasing more than I already have and I just have the Yeti thermos for my coffee and this is amazing. So I will not be purchasing another coffee thermos in 2021 unless I lose my Thetty. Thetty. <laughs> Unless I lose my Yeti thermos, I will not be buying another thermos in 2021. Get yourself together, Renee. Physical planners. If you've seen any of my productivity videos on my channel, then you probably already know that I prefer a digital planning method. Every single year, this used to be a staple for me. I would always buy a physical planner for the new year, but I would never fill it out completely. I personally use Google Calendar. It's free, it's easy to use. You can color code your calendars and your tasks, and you can time block your days. And I love that. I use my reminders app to keep track of daily to-dos and my to-do list. And then the main thing for this is I appreciate how accessible it is. I never had a physical planner on me whenever I was running out and running errands. So I love that my phone and having a digital planning method through Google Calendar and my reminders app is so accessible. <laughs> The 16th thing I won't be buying in 2021 are hair clips. I'm not hating on them because I actually think they're really cute, especially the really big ones with those pearls, but it doesn't match my style and my wardrobe. So I will be saving my money by not buying them this year. The latest and greatest kitchen appliances and gadgets. As a vegan, I love experimenting in the kitchen and trying new things. And when I first went vegan, it was back in 2018. Wow. It's been almost three years. That's crazy. Back when I first went vegan, I was caught up in all the cool gadgets and kitchen appliances because I didn't have any. So we invested in like the Vitamix blender. We also got an Instant Pot, an air fryer, and we got all these things all at once and it was expensive. But there were several little kind of appliances and gadgets that we ended up decluttering by giving to our friends or donating or selling on the Facebook marketplace because we just never use them. Currently, we have everything that we need in our kitchen, so I don't feel the need to buy anything new. New and improved electronics. So I just bought my MacBook Pro 
in 2020. And the reason why I bought it was my 2015 MacBook Air literally died on me. I used it up until I couldn't anymore. I have invested and curated the technology that I need. I don't need anything new for 2021. I have all of the things that are working right now unless something completely breaks. I don't need to reinvest in a new laptop. I don't need to buy a new camera. I don't need to buy a new phone. So a question that you can ask yourself before you buy new technology that I like to ask myself is, am I buying this for me or am I buying this to impress somebody else? I don't plan on buying new subscriptions this year. I don't need to invest in any more because I feel like I am in a good place with my subscriptions and how much I'm spending. I'm not overspending anything. I'm using every single subscription that I own. The 20th thing I don't plan on buying in 2021 to save money is a brand new car. So a while ago I started saving up in hopes to buy a brand new car in 2021 and I have since decided that that is not what I'm going to do. My car that I have right now still works. I think it's fantastic. I've had it since I was 16. It's a Toyota. Now when I do want to eventually upgrade to a larger vehicle to actually withstand some of the things that I want to do, I will only buy a car that is used and at least three years old too. And actually, I think it's a terrible investment to buy a brand new car because it loses its value up to 15% from just driving it off the lot. And it continues to depreciate year after year. It's not appreciating in value, so you're never gonna get your money back. Plus on top of it, you can save thousands of dollars by buying a used car versus a new car. The last thing I won't be buying in 2021 is Uber Eats and that's just because the delivery charge is like up to $4 but I do understand the convenience of ordering from Uber Eats and sometimes that's just what you need. Let me tell you when I've saved the most money it's from not eating out and not buying coffee out as well. So if you're really trying to save money start cooking from home. Start learning how to if you don't know how to. Just take it slow, but also don't deprive yourself of the simple pleasures in life. If that's something that makes you so happy, include that into your budget. Cut something else out that you can cut out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video on 21 things I won't be buying in 2021 to save money as a minimalist and to have a low buy year. Again, next week, I will be posting my 15 simple habits for a low buy year to make it as successful as possible to help yourself get out of retail therapy, hopefully help yourself get out of debt as well, save money for living intentionally. If you're interested in that video, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to see you guys in next week's video. Bye. <laughs>